Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the game Boss Monster. If you'd also like to know how to play this game, I have a separate video for that. First, let's put in a quarter so we can press start. Take out this small deck of cards that says Boss. Shuffle it and deal one card to each player. The rest of the deck can go back in the box. You can all reveal the card to see which evil video game bad guy you are. Keep it in front of you, slightly to your right. Your boss card also has experience points. XP. It's written on your card. The player with the highest XP is player number one. The second highest XP is player number two. And so on. It stays this way for the whole game. The next deck of cards says Spells. Shuffle it and deal two cards face down to each player. The rest of the deck can stay face down near the middle of the table. You also have this big deck named Room. Give it a good shuffle. When you're ready, deal five cards to each player face down. Everyone can look at their own cards. The rest of the room cards can go next to the spell cards. The last deck of cards say Hero. Don't shuffle them just yet. First divide them into two stacks. The ones that look like this. And the ones that have a lighter color. Keep that one in hand. If you are playing with less than four people, you have to remove a few cards first. I'm setting it up for three players, so I remove each card that shows four players at the bottom here. They can go back in the box. Then I shuffle the rest of this deck and place it face down on the table. Do the same for the other hero cards. Remove some cards if you're with less than four players. Then shuffle the deck and place it on top of the other hero cards so that you have one hero stack. Everything is on the table. But before you start, you can already build your first room, the first area in your own evil lair. If you look at your own room cards, you might see that you have some cards that have a gold-colored icon at the top left corner, and some cards with a silver-colored icon at the top left corner. For this first card, you may only use a silver one. Pick one and then place it face down to the left of your boss card. As soon as every player has chosen a card, you reveal them. If there's any text on the card that says something happens when you play it, just do whatever it says. Follow the instructions of the card. When everything is dealt with, you are ready for the first round of Boss Monster. If you'd like to know how that goes, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching this setup, feel free to leave a comment, and see you for the next one.